Buenos dias, que tal mis amigos? Welcome to my channel. Please support your local food bank, Drug and Alcohol Center. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Christian street pastor. I speak Spanish. And I also, we're going to do a Bible study regarding the Apostle Catherine Crick. Now you can see quite clearly that this young lady has a red hat on in this demon casting out. She, if you don't know who Catherine Crick is, she's a social media influencer. So red hat, camouflage hat. All right, and she's using the same girls over and over again. We're going to be looking at this today. Here is another, what I can see is it, it's the same girls every 30 days. So she's getting her demons cast out. And then, of course, here she is again getting demons cast out. Now, this young lady here was used by Bob Larson uh, as well in one of his social media posts. These have been seen, oh, potentially hundreds of thousands of times. Well, this one here is 20,000 times. Uh, this one here, what happened? This one here, I think, is around 10, 000, 15,000 times. Practices. Oh, voodoo doll! And uh, very popular, 70,000 times. So we're going to break it down. I'm going to play for you this particular girl here. Uh, she has four exorcisms, and then we'll look at the other two. Bless you. Same reaction here. Everyone must go. Everyone. I declare everyone to go as she stands in the presence of this anointing. Everyone must leave her in Jesus' name. Everyone must leave her. Everyone must go. She will continue to be set free as she's positioned herself where anointing is flowing right here. This is what deliverance looks like. Deliverance looks different. It's, it's demons leaving the body. What freedom looks like. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Everyone, everyone must go. Everyone must go. Everyone out of her now. Thank you, Jesus. Everyone must go. Knowing that... Those who have seen Demon Deliverance know that this looks strange. ...from these things to this woman. I cancel them. I break off the attachment now, and I declare every demonic spirit that was attached to those things that she just named must leave this body now. You must leave her soul now in Jesus' name. I found through him, through the book. Oh, yes. She read the book and opened up her mind to this, to the spirit of the Antichrist, the beast. <laughs> Well, I bind Joe to the beast. Your horns and your heads are gone. You have no power left. Look at me, beast. Say, I'm the spirit of the beast. The spirit of the beast. Of the beast. Bind myself. Bind myself. To Joe Dispenza. To Joe Dispenza. And all the lies. All the lies. <laughs> of New Age quantum beliefs. Of New Age quantum beliefs. And all the lies. Of all right. I, I, I think we should probably look at this because this is June 24th. And the other one was, what happened? This one was June 9th. So she's just getting, she's, they're doing this on the same girl over and over again. And interesting enough, it says here, how to receive complete deliverance when I teach this, I guide you through renouncing and prayer of completing deliverance. So she does this on all of the girls. Demonic spirit that's was attached to those things. On three, I command every last spirit in this body must go now. One, two, three, out of her. All right. 
renounce a cult. So and... let's go to the next one. Let's see here. This was on June 9th. This one was on June, July, August. Okay, so this is, let's watch this one because she casts demons out of her and then a month later she cast the demons out again. In Jesus' name. Out of her now. Stand up. Stand up. Come here. You must leave her now. In Jesus' name. Out of her. Out of her. Out of her now. Leave her now. In Jesus' name. Since we're going to break down a few of these, I, what I'm assuming is that she's talking to the demon, asking the demon, what does she owe her? Now, if you're a Christian, <laughs> greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world, right? We're going to look at how uh, Apostle Catherine's charging people money so they don't have demons. Let's just speed this up a bit. I want to break down a few of these. This is public domain. You can go watch this if you like. What is your She belongs to Jesus now. She belongs to Jesus now. You will leave her body now. In Jesus' name. Okay, so earlier, later on this, this in, the, in this very same video is the one where she was doing it on this young lady here. Um, what hat is she wearing on this one? Camouflage. And I do have um, 239. 239, we have that other girl. 239, this girl here, um, she renounces all her demons and then gives her her jewelry. We're going to come back to this. And then a month later, she's going through another demon casting out ceremony. You know, I'm praying for these young ladies. You know, they, I don't know if they're just friends of Catherine and she's doing this for views on social media or, you know, who knows? There's so many hurting people out there that um and there are people that struggle with mental health i'm a christian pastor i work on the back alleys i'm just looking at the transcript um 239 and uh okay here she is again the evil eye necklace okay do you willingly surrender this to jesus okay so what she's doing is she's taking off her jewelry to give it to katherine thank you lord so just take it off now, and then put it in the trash here. Praise you, God. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Praise you, God. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise you, Lord. Praise you, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. All right, so she took off her necklaces, put it in the trash, and this was June 6th, and about 30 days later, she's on the ground doing it again. So we'll watch a little bit of this. Look at me. See, Look it's at the me. same girl. You can see the tattoos. Tattoos. Look at me now. I break every curse off of this woman. I wonder who this guy is. I'd I'd be interested to see the behind the scenes. And people are con. If you haven't contacted me, I'm doing this video because somebody had contacted me. We are praying for these people. Absolutely. You know, and a lot of people aren't suspecting, but the people like this guy behind the scenes, he knows what's going on. He knows the catchers know that they're catching the same girl over and over and over and over and over again. It'd be interesting. The truth will come out eventually. And there he is again with her catching. So he knows that she took off all of her gold jewelry and put it in a little basket. He also has been catching for this young lady over and over and over again. I thought that was interesting. He is behind the scenes. In Jesus' name. 
I pray every generation of us. So she gets her demons cast out again, and um, you know, it really is quite sad. And you know, if we're praying for these people now. This one here is so diabolical, I just can't believe this. So, no little eyes, there's a young person on the ground screaming and wriggling in pain. And Catherine Cook starts asking her mom for money. And then we're going to look at her seed offering basket so you don't have demons. Renounce abandonment, renounce rejection. Yeah. And is there anything specific with witchcraft? Like specifically, like not in general? Yeah. Um, tarot cards, bring my kids to psychics. Um... <coughs> Can you, can you renounce specifically what it was with the psychic that happened, the interaction? Just renounce it specifically. Renounce going to a psychic to, not with him, but with my older kids to, for our future, for what our purpose was. And not Jesus, because I didn't know. That it was an abomination. Thank you, Jesus. I detach him from what she's renounced, and I come in every spirit attached that came in through going through the psychic must come out now. Now. Thank you, Jesus. Every last one in the order you entered him through that psychic. There it is again. So it's what do you, what is she owe the demon? And now she's talking to all the demons to come out one by one. The boy's just all right. Through the witchcraft done upon him, out now. I detach him from sexual abuse and I command every spirit that came in through abuse and molestation to leave him now in Jesus' name. Enough of your nonsense, enough. I command you to speak and say what is owed. And none of, of your nonsense, I command you to speak what is owed. Let me reiterate, we owe demons nothing. It has been paid on the cross. Praise the Lord. Now. Speak now. have her channel monetized one second these are the commercials <laughs> Sorry. you can pay ten dollars but I live on a tight budget so I don't have uh, paid enough of your nonsense what is owed speak now Thank you, Jesus. God is going to free him completely. There are different keys to receive complete freedom. And what happens is the more that we entangle ourselves with, with witchcraft and psychics and things like that, it's like a more complex deliverance. So sometimes it's not just about the commanding the demons, but there's other keys that need to be unlocked. And one of them is to sow seeds. Did you pay money to the psychic? Yes. How much? Hundreds. One going for years because I didn't know, but I've been following you for six years. So it's ongoing for years. So in the spiritual realm, there's laws. I've been, I've been selling 10% of everything that comes through my hands for the last two years. 10%. percent god saying more. Okay. Because 10% is was what's, what, what's God's. So now we need to sow specifically for his deliverance and speak this is for his deliverance and 
and a good amount, if there's a good amount given to psychics, it needs to be a good amount because that's the key that needs to unlock his complete freedom. And it needs to be what his power is. Like Fivefold Church, for example, you can so hear. It you would have to be an absolute psychopath to be in front of a lady with her boy on the ground telling the mom she God told her that she has to give her money so that the little boy doesn't have demons. These people are absolutely heartless. For his deliverance and speak this is for his deliverance and and a good amount if there's a good amount given to psychics it needs to be a good amount because that's the key that needs to unlock his complete freedom and it needs to be what his power is that is one of the most diabolically satanic things i've heard in a long time little boy on the ground Catherine kuma is completely powerless to help that little boy then she says to her mom that she's got to give her money in order to unlock the spiritual keys of deliverance. Now, if you're watching this video, and if you have studied spiritual warfare and deliverance, you're probably screaming. <laughs> you're like, no, no, you don't need to give Catherine. Because she's totally powerless over this young boy, she turns to her mom, his mom, and asks her how much money she gave to psychics. And then the, she's going on this idea of a deliverance seed money in order so that the boy doesn't have demons. She not only has to give not only 10%, but lots, lots of money. All right. On my video regarding Catherine Kirk, I, I was actually stunned by how many people are defending these actions of hers of charging Christians money. And... Um, People are ignorant. Keep your money, then you keep your religious spirit. God is moving through Apostle Catherine Crick. You are, uh, it's amazing the anger, and the venomous hatred of me. <laughs> because I'm warning Christians that giving money to Catherine Crick, you won't lose your demons. She is lying to you. She's saying that I should receive discernment criticizing God's vessel. Go preach the gospel with signs following. Look to yourself and judge others who follow, criticize the move of God. Oh, I answered. If you're interested in the truth, here's a video. The truth of Catherine Cook. <laughs> All right. Um, I make videos out of love. Religious spirit, I'm a full-time pastor. I make videos for people like you. That's a fact. I am so sad you're believing Catherine Cook's money you will not have demons. Let me see here. Did this woman study under Catherine Co Copeland? That's a that's an accurate comment that, that this is a hyper hyper prosperity gospel, but even extended further than Catherine Kenneth Copeland, as far as I'm aware. Well, who knows what Kenneth Copeland has said lately. But typically, they don't ask people for money so they don't have demons. Seeking ye first the kingdom of God, and all this should be added unto me. Lots of great comments as well. Only stupid people make posts like this. Use discernment, many false prophets. God already sowed the seed when he was on the cross. Boy, there's some good comments here. Please stop using a sow a seed key. You're falling into the rest. Oh, here's somebody who posted this on here. That's the prophet Jordini. We might as well look at that and we're done with this video. I gotta get to the street. I'm on my street ministry. Um, so you can watch this video. He, he anoints her. We'll just speed this up. I gotta get to my street ministry. Things will grow greatly from today. I release the power to change environment, to change anything in people's life. Receive it in Jesus' name. It is yours. 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 All right, this, this is another time he's anoint he he's anointed her quite a few times and um we'll listen to this once upon you apostle catherine you come to me catherine as this anointing will help you right. here it is here. to lift to reach all of the people of los angeles to bring them to you we want, we 
There's so many people hurting in LA. There's so many people hurting and across America. And we want God to use us to reach them and to bring them to you so that they may be healed and delivered and be directed into God's will for their life and for that so that they may receive what we have received. We want, we, we, we don't want to keep this to ourselves. We want to share this with the world. And all of this joy that you see in all of us and this transformation. It is only because of you, Baba. We would be nothing without you. We know and recognize that you hold the keys for America and only you. Hallelujah. We want, as John the Baptist declared, there's someone greater than me coming. We want to be used in that apostolic way. We want God to have people's eyes be open to the words we're speaking. That they may hear and come to this conference and to this ministry and receive you, receive the real Jesus, and receive Alleluia. from the real Jesus through you. Glory to God. We give ourselves, we lay down ourselves, we surrender and submit to you. That God would use us to serve you and to help fulfill your vision. We plant this seed at your feet, Daddy, for God to have our way with us to serve you. We want the world to know you we want you to be famous so that the real Jesus who is full of love and power may be known they will not know the real Jesus unless they know you he's choosing to use you for the world to see him and to know him Asante sana, Baba. We love you so much. Asante sana for being our father. We love you. Asante sana kwa kuwa Baba yetu tunakupenda. Thank you for watching my video. Please join me in prayer that all have accepted Catherine as their apostle. Jesus answered, then see that no one leads you astray. For many will come in my name saying, I am the anointed one. I am the Christ and will lead many astray. And that's what's so shocking to me is how many people are deceived by Catherine Crick. And ultimately our hope is in the Lord. And this gospel of the kingdom will be proclaimed through the whole world as a testimony to all nations. And then the end will come. I love the Bible. Have a great day. I'm on my way out the door for my morning street ministry. May the Lord bless you. Keep you strong in the faith. And always remember, Brother John loves you. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.